Hey YouTube, what's going on? Just want to show you guys a overview of what I'm working it, working with in terms of gear. I don't think I showed this to you guys last time. I just talked about it. Um, here is uh, the suit that I bought. It's a Alpine Stars SP1, I believe. It's like a budget um, suit. It's actually pretty good because it actually has a race hump, but uh, it's not an aggressive curve. It's very, very neutral. You can um, actually kind of broken in already. Um, the leg part is what I'm working on right now because I kind of have big calves. It's really tight right here, so it's I need to work on that. I think my friend said to just spray water on it and it will conform to your shape. So that's the only part that I'm still working on. Every every other part, like the arms, uh, already got stretched out. Um, it has some it has a really good stretch on this side, so it, it's it's already pretty good. Um, yeah, this was like about 719 bucks and that's pretty decent i suppose it's not like cheap cheese cheap, alpine stars so it has quality even though it has a good price and for the helmet i got the corsair 10 as you can see here no frills just a solid black color i wanted the white but when i got to the page where i'm about to check out i'm like oh man and then i changed it to black like last minute so I couldn't help myself. Um, you can't go wrong with the black. I like the black color on everything. And I got the Pro Shield that goes in like that. Um, when you're in the wind, it pushes down on the shield and it doesn't go down. It kind of locks it in place, so it's not a big deal. Um, it doesn't buff it or anything like that. Um, very comfortable helmet. The liners, liners on Ar Arai helmets are really good. As you guys, if you don't, if you guys don't know. That's why I like RI helmets. They're very plush inside. They're very soft and you feel the quality there. Um, yeah, it's uh, I put, already put the GoPro mount here. Um, it has a chin vent though. Let me just turn this for you guys. It has a chin vent though that makes makes it pretty hard to put a microphone in. But I, I'm probably just going to keep it the way it is right now. Because I'm not planning to use this as my everyday helmet. This is just my special occasion helmet. But I can still put a GoPro in there. But I'm not going to be vlogging with this helmet. Because it's um, it's a very expensive helmet. And when I use my helmets every day, I tend to nick them, scratch them. And I'm kind of babying this right now. It's really expensive. About uh, that's, I think it was 700 something dollars for the helmet. And about 60 or 80 dollars for the the pro shield the pro shield i'm gonna um include links for all these parts it's just uh i'm just running through them really quickly and the gloves the gloves are not new these are um i believe the gp pro alpine stars also these are not new i, I had them for a while they're really good but i think these are really pricey they're like 150 to or 200 bucks or something like that but they're really good you know they have a pre you have a cutout so you, you're not stretching the um the glove when you're gripping the throttle and the handlebars and really good protection all around here's a palm slides palm pads palm sliders yeah and a, on the on the forearm or on your wrist protectors it's really nice i recommend it uh for the boots i did the alpine stars smx6 i believe the name of this yeah and this one is really nice. It doesn't, I didn't have to kind of work this to get it to flex. It's actually really flexible already out of the box. So, and it has toe sliders, um, really, really nice shoe for the price. I think this was 250 though, but I think that's how most boots are, the price and Alpine Stars, you know, quality as always. And really, really nice boot lightweight also i mean it's very light i mean i don't know how if other sh other boots would be heavy but protection wise it has so much it's really nice look at that heel um your out your ankle here and the toe it's perforated also so it's, it breathes so you're not gonna be sweating in the track or when you're riding on the on the back yeah also has some protection on the almost in the calf area and yeah you could, you could, it really flexes so there's no worries about not feeling the pegs and anything like that because on other boots I couldn't feel the pegs at all sizing wise uh, I'm a 45 here uh, size 11 on sh regular shoes um, the suits I'm a 54 
in the European size. Uh, yeah, for, yeah, 54, 44. I'm 6'2", six, six two, 205-ish pounds. So, and like I said, it's kind of snug because of, it's like a, it's like a body, like, because I kind of work out a little bit and yeah, it's not, I, there's like some parts of, some parts of me that are like kind of tight than the others and, but 54 is the one that works. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not disappointed with that. And helmet, uh, large for my head. Um, for Alpine Stars uh, gloves though, you would want to go a one size up. So I'm an XL usually on normal American cut gloves. But for this one, I'm double XL. I think that's like um, a thing for everyone, not just for me. Um, so I don't know if, uh, if you guys are looking into that. If you're not sure, they run small. So... And I kind of confirmed that from the comments in Revzilla when people are buying these. So they're like, oh, they say, uh, I'm actually XL on some, and then I had to double, um, I had to go double okay. XL. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is I did something really silly. This is why I hate wiring. Um, because when I'm, I just noticed this, I didn't even know. So when I turn left, the other one, turns <laughs> right so it's freaking annoying man that's why i hate wiring so let's do that it's blinking yeah as you can see so i'll be working on that and um i'll see you guys in a second all right youtube here it is hopefully i get this right this time turning left and turning left so yeah okay that is that was so annoying they've been using this bike too that's hella embarrassing all right so uh yeah i'm gonna put this button this up again and uh it's a uh, it's nice I, I mean it's okay i mean i'm gonna check on the wires re re um what do you call this retape some things maybe i'll move things around it's it's okay i i'm, I'm looking at the positive side here of redoing that wiring um, the LED light though is really nice. It stays on. I think that's for all S1000RRs. It's like a nice feature. It stays on and then it will turn off after like, let's see, a minute. Come on, come on. There you go. I think that's like, um, I don't know what feature, I don't know what that feature is for, but it's a nice touch. It looks like a car. You know, when a car, the headlight stays on for a little bit and then it, it turns off after a while. That's really nice, really nice touch. Okay, we are back. We're gonna test this one more time. signals all right left left finally jesus okay let's check the other side right right so okay oh God, that was so annoying all right so anywho bike's feeling really good i tested it this morning with all my gear um like I said, I'm just really tight on the leg area. Um, it's it's making me second guess some of my lean when I was leaning. So, but it's okay. I'm getting there. I'm I'm trying new, the new techniques on body positioning. I've been reading up on um, a lot of podcasts, and I'm listening to a lot of po uh, a lot of pod podcasts like Ken Hill and um, Jason Pridemore and stuff like that. And it's really, it's really informative, you guys. You guys should look look into that. It's just, it will change. If you guys have bad habits, it will change it. You, you've been riding for all, um, for many years. You've been like tunnel vision. Um, it's nice to have a, some insight. If you don't already know, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Like, it's, you just kind of listen to those guys and maybe you'll pick up something. It's just, it's really good. Um, Tires are still good. I'm saving my tires for November. Um, yeah, you can see it's chicken strips and all that. You know, it's just you know, it's, it is what it is. I ride on the street. It's just I can't get that low on the street here, um, and I don't have that much time to go to twisties these days. I just commute with the bike. I'm saving my tires though, so I'm riding this less and riding the 250, the Ninja 250 a lot more for commuting to work. Even if I went to the track day, I think I think I still have maybe a thousand miles left on this. It's just. 
they're wearing out pretty good for my type of use my type of riding i'm not going to be super aggressive at the track anyway so i'm betting that i'm really going to be using maybe not so much of the tire by the time i get back home here um i don't know what tires i'm gonna switch to after this one it's probably gonna be a metzler um because i want to keep the 255 profile um for the tire if not this because these ones will wear out really quickly on the street and it's such a waste of tire they're sticky and all that is good because i could get the same ones but i might get something more street oriented and the metzler uh, i forgot the probably m7 or something like that was is the good all-around tire. It's, it's good for the wet and uh, sporty riding some stuff like that and um yeah um hopefully that gave you guys some um some tips on checking the wiring because <laughs> you really don't know because you, you when you're when you're working on the bike you get tunnel vision you just want to get it done um i checked it last time for some reason i didn't notice that for some i don't know i don't know how um i checked it last time i have to re watch the i have to re-watch the video and see if i missed it so okay um i just wanted to give you guys an update on that and um hopefully you guys are having a good weekend and uh i'll see you guys on the next one bang this shit in the hood one time little bitch i'm back and popping tell that ugly bitch to move away i need more options broke them fix your body